E and mountains in points. Let us talk about fundamentals. Find any content created using a computer such as a picture or text is saved as a file. The file may help the user to identify what that file is about. So if we wrote an essay about climate change, for example, you might name that file climate essay. The file name helps the computer to recognize what kind of file it is so that it knows what program it should use to open that file. File name has extension. A file extension is the suffix at the end of the file name that indicates what type of file it is. Let us take an example. In the file name mydeport.txt, the .txt is the file extension. It indicates the file is a text document. Let us take some other examples. .docx, which is used for Microsoft Word document and .psd, which is the standard file extension for Photoshop document. It's good to keep this in mind when you rename a file because if you accidentally change or remove the file extension, your computer might not be able to open it anymore and you will have to rename it again and put the file extension back in order to fix this problem. Let's take a look at some common file extensions. We have got some are from audio, some are for videos, some are for images and some are for variety of different types of document. There are many more file extensions. Folder. In order to keep files organized, we use folders. A folder in your computer is just like real life folder. It's a place where you can put files to separate them into groups that make sense. Folder helps us organize related documents or files together. Folder also helps us to locate important files quickly. Every folder has a folder name and every file has a file name with extension. Subfolder and parent folder. Look at the picture. It's clearly visible that the main folder is named as parent folder and the other folders are called subfolder. So the main folder is called the parent folder and a folder located within another folder is called a subfolder. Folder and subfolder help us organize our files. What do you mean by directory structure? Arrangement of folders into parent and subfolder is called directory structures. Arranging folders one inside another helps us group files systematically. Now, let's talk about why it is important to rename and to organize a file. We organize things at home, schools and office systematically so that we can find them easily. This also saves time. Similarly, suitable naming and organization of files and folders on a computer are important. This helps us 
find things we want easily. Children, please note down all the important points and learn them. Thank you.